Many of us may not feel that we're anointed on today. Many of us may be, 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 may be experiencing, oh God, 
other things that feel everything opposite of the anointing of God. But I thank you for your anointing, God. I thank you for blessing us on this morning. I thank you, Lord God, for calling us out on this morning. In the name of Jesus, surely goodness and mercy, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Oh God, goodness and mercy will always follow us, oh Lord God. So even when evil is around us, even when discouragement is around us, even when depression is around us, uh, even when distress is around us, uh, your word says that surely goodness and mercy uh, shall follow us all the days of our life, uh, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God, in you we have a dwelling place, oh God. We don't have to depend on anything or anyone else, uh, for you are our dwelling place, God. Uh, we dwell in you, uh, and as long as we hunger and thirst after you. Uh, we shall be filled in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, there's nothing that we shall want. Uh, there's nothing that we shall have to acquire because you have given us all things, oh Lord God. You are true to your word in the name of Jesus. Uh, even when we go through the death of Beth Valley, God, we will never be afraid, oh God. We thank you that our trust is in you. Uh, we trust you with all of our hearts uh, and we lean not to our own understanding uh, in all of our ways. We acknowledge that you are God uh, and you shall shall direct our path. But Lord, you are our light and our salvation. We shall fear nothing in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our strength, the strength of our life. We shall not be afraid. God, there's a common theme and you continue to tell us to not be afraid. So I speak to that woman this morning. I speak to that wife this morning. I speak to that mother this morning. If you are afraid of anything, if you are afraid during the COVID-19, or if you are afraid being in the marriage that you are in, if you are afraid for whatever the reason with your children, if there's any level of fear, any level of discouragement that's trying to surround you, I want to remind you on this morning to not be afraid. For the Lord is your light and your salvation. Even when the wicked, your enemies and your foes come up against you to eat up your flesh, they will stumble and fall. So even when those people come up against you to do harm to you, to do wrong upon you, know that they will stumble and fall. Though when hosts should I cap against you, your heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise up against you, even then will you be confident. So I declare and I decree here, and I pray for confidence on this morning. God, this confidence that we have is in you. It's not our own confidence. It's not something that we've built up. It's not something that we've worked on, God. But it's the confidence that we have in you. But it's in you that we live, that we move, and that we have our very being. It's in you that we have our existence. It's in you that we know who we are. It's in you that we have our self-esteem. It's in you that we are affirm, oh God. It's in you that we can rise up, oh God. It's in you that we can operate in our purpose, oh God. It's in you that we can be sustained as women, as wives, and as mothers, oh God. In the name of Jesus, one thing have we desired of the Lord, and that shall we seek after, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. God, I thank you for giving us access to your house and to your heart, God, that we may dwell there in the name of Jesus, even if our physical dwelling places may not be ideal. Deal. God, you've given us your dwelling place, and in your dwelling place shall we remain. For in the time of trouble, you shall hide us in your pavilion. So even in times of trouble, even in times of I don't know what's going on, even in times of ambiguity, God, I thank you, dear Father, that you shall hide us in your pavilion. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that you shall hide us upon everything that's trying to come up against us. In the name of Jesus, in the secret place of your tabernacle, God, Lord, you shall hide us upon a rock in the name of Jesus, for you are the rock. You are the rock of our salvation, and now shall we lift up our lift us up, oh God, above our enemies, round about us, oh God. Therefore, will we offer the tabernacle sacrifices of joy, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We don't depend on our own joy. We don't depend on our happiness. We're not calling on happiness, God, but we have joy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy on the inside. Joy deep down, God. I pray this morning that some wife, some woman, oh God, some mother out there, that she can activate the joy of the Lord that's already on the inside of her, God. The joy that you've given her. The joy that you've that you've deepened inside of her, God. The joy that's around her. The joy 
joy through your word, oh God. I thank you for your joy, God. I thank you that we will sing praises unto you, Lord. Despite whatever is going on, we will sing praises unto you. We will cry out in spirit, not we will cry on the holy God, Jehovah El Shaddai, God of Isaac, God of Abraham. God, I thank you that you're Jehovah to seek you. You are a God of righteousness. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are our peace on this morning. I thank you that you're Jehovah Nisi, that you are our banner, our security, God. You are our security system, God. Yeah, many of us may have actual security systems, but you are our security system on this morning. You are Jehovah Jireh, the God, our provider. Not only are you providing tangible things, God, but you're providing intangible things. So whatever you need this morning, cry out and spear not. Whatever you need this morning, ask God to give it to you this morning. If you need joy, he's a provider of joy. If you need peace, he's a provider of peace. If you need love, he's a provider of love. If you need reassurance, he's a provider of reassurance. If you need faith, he's a provider of faith. If you need your marriage to work out, he's a provider. He's a reconciler. He's a reconciling God. If you need hope, then call on hope this morning. If you need hope with your children, call on it this morning. If you need confidence as a woman, call on it this morning. What do you need from God? He is here. He is here. He's meeting you right here in the name of Jesus and beyond needs. We're here to meet him this morning. We're here to encounter him this morning. We're here to give him us this morning. We're here to remind him that we are his servant. We are his daughters. We are his children. We are here to serve. But his son said that he did not come to be served, but he came to serve others. So we come this morning, oh God, coming to serve through our prayers, oh God, not just asking God, but coming to give. We give of ourselves this morning. We give of our will this morning. We give of our right to be sleeping this morning, oh God. Oh God, many of us wanted to stay in the bed this morning, but we give up our own will. We give up our own desires for your desire in the name of Jesus. Oh, hear, oh Lord, when we cry our voice, have mercy upon us and answer us, oh God. When we sin, seek your face, seek my face, oh God. Seek your heart instead. We seek the heart of God. Your face, God, we will seek as well. Hide not thy face from us, oh God. Put us not away in anger. Do not hide away from us, oh God. Leave us not and do not forsake us because you are the God of our salvation. Many of us have been in a position are currently in a position where our mother or our father have forsaken us. But I want to remind you on this morning that he said he will never leave you nor forsake you, but he will be with you even until the end of the world. He said even in Psalms 39, if you were to make your bed in hell, he will be there. He will be there in the darkest times. He will be be there in the drought. Even if you think you're walking this life or this earth or this relationship on your own, I want to encourage you this morning that God is with you, that he is there for you, that he will never leave you, that he will never forsake you, that you are his own, that he loves you so very much, that he has your best interests at heart, that he is the only constant God, he is the only consistent God. Buddha can't do it. Uh, Muhammad can't do it. Uh, all of these other gods uh, that are out here can't do it. Uh, they can't be like God. Uh, the Jehovah Jireh, uh, the God our provider. Uh, they can't be like uh, the God of uh, the Jehovah Shammah, uh, the God who was always there. Uh, that means he is always there. Uh, he never leaves. Uh, he never forsakes. Uh, he never walks away. Uh, he is always there. Uh, so teach us, oh Lord, uh, lead us in a plain path because of our enemies. We have enemies all around us. They're on the right, the left, the front, and the back. But guess what else we have? We have angels all around us. We have the Holy Spirit working within us. The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us. He is activated on the inside of us. So even when the enemies are to our left or our right or our front or our back, God is with us. 
He surrounded us. He's encamped all around us. And no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. I thank you, Lord, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that we will wait on you. We will be of good courage, and you shall strengthen our hearts, oh God. We I say on the Lord, thank you, Father. Oh God, I thank you, Lord God, that we are in a season. Even if us are, even many of us may be waiting on something, waiting on a job, waiting for our marriages to work out, waiting for our husbands, oh God, waiting for our husbands to get saved, waiting for our husbands to get it right, waiting to have a child, God, waiting for something, oh Lord God. But in the season of wait, God, we shall work. But we see throughout the scripture uh, as women who waited uh, as esther who waited oh god and as uh, uh, ruth had um Ruth had waited, oh God, that they were also working while they wait. So as we wait, oh God, I pray that we're in a posture of working, working on our own soul salvation, working in our purpose, oh God, working to serve others in the name of Jesus. And I'm led to pray for our husbands this morning, oh God. I'm led to pray for the husband that's there and the husband that's not there, the husband that's on the way in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now for our husbands husbands, wherever they may be in the name of Jesus, uh, even those that have not yet manifested. Uh, I pray for them now, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray that he is a holy man. Huh? I pray that he is a righteous man. Huh? I pray, oh God, that he has the desires uh, of your heart deep down on the inside of him, God. Uh, I pray that he will hunger and thirst after righteousness uh, so that he may be filled uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, I pray for my husband, uh, Henry Ravenel Jr., uh, if you have a husband, call him out. Uh, put him on this post right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you keep him, God. I pray that you protect them, God. I pray that everything that's going on in this world, God, that is there to discourage them, that is there to decredit them, that's there to depress them, God, I pray that you will be with him always, even until the end of the earth, oh God. I pray that he puts his hope in you, that he puts his reassurance in you. As I pray for my husband, I'm praying for your husband. In the name of Jesus, though he walked through the valley of the shadows of death, God, he shall not be afraid. Huh? God, I pray that he allows you huh, to be the lifter of his head huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? I pray that he allows you huh, to walk with him, God, huh? and to talk with him, oh God, huh? in the name of Jesus, huh? that he will seek ye first huh? your kingdom and your righteousness, huh? and all other things huh, shall be added unto him. Huh? I pray, oh God, that he will love me huh, with the love of God deep down on the inside, God, huh? that he will love me as Christ loved the church uh, and gave himself for her uh, that he will love me as he loves his own body uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, this is a universal prayer, God, because uh, I believe that whatever is on the head uh, shall be on the entire body. Uh, so I pray right now, God, uh, that he is lifted up in you, Lord. Uh, I pray right now, God, uh, that you surround him with your love, uh, that you sur surround him with your care, uh, that you surround him with your kindness, uh, that you surround him with your faithfulness, uh, that you surround him with your goodness in the name of Jesus, God, that he will fall down on his face and he will cry out all the fathers. So our husbands, oh God, I pray that they have a heart for you, that they have a yearning for you, God, that they're not controlled or influenced by external things, but they're only desiring you in the name of Jesus. I pray that they are protecting the portals of their soul, God. They're pr protecting what they look at. They're protecting what they're listening to, uh, they're protecting what they say, uh, what comes out and what goes in, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, God seal off the portal from hell uh, anything that hell has exposed uh, anything that hell has tried to pour in, uh, close off the portal in the name of Jesus uh, for our husbands are holy uh, they are righteous, uh, they are set apart in the name of Jesus uh, they are men of integrity uh, they are men of standard uh, they are men of purpose in the name of Jesus. And for those that are not saved, God, I call them saved. I call them blessed. Lord God, pour out your spirit upon them. For you said that in the last days, oh God, in these days, in these times, that you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh, that our sons and our daughters, they will prophesy, that our young men will see 
visions and our whole men will dream dreams. So I thank you, dear Father, that your spirit is being poured out upon our husbands, wherever he may be, even if he has not manifested, your spirit is poured out, God. I declare healing on this morning, God. Heal them from every childhood trauma. Heal them from everything that they don't need to know that they need to be healed from, God. I declare your healing in the name of Jesus. I declare that our husbands are gentle, God. They are sensitive men, God. Not weak, but sensitive men. Sensitive to pick up things, oh God. When they're going on with us, God. Sensitive to know, Lord God, when they are, are out of line, God. I pray for the sensitivity of our men, God. I pray that they're emotionally healed on today, God. I pray, oh God, that they're physically healed on today. God, every addiction that may be trying to take over their lives and overwhelm their purpose and overwhelm their manhood, I release it now in the name of Jesus. Loose and let it, let them go. I break the bond of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Everything that's strapped to them, everything that is attached to them, that's contrary to the word of God, it shall be released now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, dear Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. God, that you are the lifter of his head, that he shall be the head, that he shall lead his family, that he shall lead his wife, lead his children. He should be lead worthy, God. Lord, I thank you, God, that we as wives, we will respect him. We will honor him. We will encourage him. We will push him, God. Hallelujah. We will hold our husbands responsible as they will us. Lord God, marriage is your idea. Oh, God, it's your purpose. It's your plan. And if we don't do it according to your will, God, we are looking forward to detriment, God. So that's why we will do our marriages according to the will of the Lord. Lord, we will be in your will for our marriages in the name of Jesus as wives as mothers, as women, as us desiring to be wives, God, we will be in the purpose and in the plan of God for our lives, Lord. So, God, we thank you on this Marriage Monday. We thank you on this Mind Your Marriage Monday. We thank you on this Corporate Prayer Monday, God. We thank you for all of the women that are looking at this live, that are going to look at this replay. Lord, we thank you, dear Father, that they shall be blessed, not by my words, God, but because you showed up, because you came in, God, because you are manifesting. It's not about your help. It is all about you. It is all about Jesus. So we thank you, dear Father. Father, that the prayers of the righteous avail of much, and these prayers have been availed to you, God, and that you shall answer our prayers, not many days hence, God, because all the promises in you are yes and amen. <clears throat> All the promises in you are yes and amen. And there is no good thing that you hold, withhold from us. So God, as we came this morning to meet you, as we came this morning to have an encounter with you, Lord, we also came to intercede on behalf of our husbands, on behalf of us, God, and other women all around the world. And I thank you, God, that you heard that prayer, God, that sincere prayer. And I thank you that you will respond. For we'll your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this prayer on this morning. I pray that you have an amazing day. I pray that God continues to be with you on today, that heaven continues to smile upon you. We will be here at 530 BE Transform. <clears throat> Community will be here where I'm going. Uh, but I will be sharing the prayer in our platform as well. So we're praying Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m., Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m. We're meeting the Lord every morning, you guys, meeting him early in the morning, rising up early in the morning to meet him, to have an encounter with him, and also to intercede on behalf of others. So make sure you're here. Let someone know, hey, you guys need to be a part of this community. You need to be a part of this movement. These women are praying. They're praying for you. They're praying for me. They're praying for us. So I pray today that you invite them to come in, whatever community or platform you're watching this on, invite them to come in. Let them know what we're doing. Also today at eight o'clock, we're going to be doing our <clears throat> Girl Catch Your Life podcast. That's every Monday at eight o'clock. So we'll be on in the Girl Catch Your Life community, talking all things marriage, all things woman, marriage, marriage goal, relationship goals, life goals. We will be sharing every every Monday, having something new and exciting 
that we'll be talking about. So please join us. We're in this time of this crisis. So we're really going to be talking today about anxiety and sharing some of our personal stories. And we want to hear from you as well. So make sure you're a part of that conversation. I love you all with the love of Jesus. I pray that God be with you, that heaven sm smiles upon you, and that you have an incredible day and more so an incredible week. Meet us back here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Love you all. Have a good day.